So tired. What's good guys, welcome back to my first ever official video and today I'll be starting a new series of showing you guys how I manage my sneaker reselling business as a full time college student. So as I said in the last video, I'm a freshman in college and um, pretty much I'm away from home, I'm out of state and I'm just going to show you guys how I balance this out. But um, yeah, today's going to be our first episode, just remember this, today's December 19th, we got a lot of stuff to do, we got our story, Christmas story sale in two days, so um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of behind the scenes, we sold a few pairs today so we got to ship that out to ups so um let's get it let's go and with the way how my room is currently looking i'm planning to do a little bit of cleaning first these are some of the pairs that we sold sold a pair let me just show you guys so we sold a pair of these cherry 11s and we're making 30 dollars profit with these and then we also sold a pair of i don't know what these are we also sold a pair of resin slides that we're making 20 dollars and also, if you guys are wondering what I do with most of my free time, I spend a lot of the time in front of the computer sending out inventory lists to book buyers and sellers. Also, currently, I'm just documenting a few sales that I made today. And also, I made a lot of sales yesterday at consignment, so I got to put all that into the spreadsheet. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what I do a lot of the times. So I also have an investment a sneaker investment group. It's called Remy Invest. You guys check that out on Instagram. I'll put a pop up right here. I don't know if I know how to do that, but uh, I'm gonna try. But uh, yeah, so you know, there's always a lot of re new resellers ask me if there's any advice I would give them. I would just say stay consistent with what you're doing and also discipline yourself because at the end of the day, if you can do both of those things, you're gonna get to where you wanna get to. I'm still working on that on my uh, for myself. I have a lot of things I can improve on as far as like bad habits and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, at, at the end of the day, just trying to work hard and be a better person every single day. So that, that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, yeah. How do I edit this, man? Bro, I'm actually frustrated. I do not know how to edit this video. Like, I don't know how to edit. So I've been working on this for like a good three hours now. I'm still editing some videos. But um, yeah, in the span of those three hours, we sold a few pairs, but it's currently already almost 3 p.m. And at 4.30, I gotta go head out my house and I have a meeting with this guy. We're gonna talk about some potential partnerships and stuff. But um, before that, I gotta go ship out my packages. Oh my God. All right, just box these two pairs up. I'm already kind of tired. Got two more to box up. Got a pair of Yeezys right here that we sold earlier. And then we also sold a pair of Hyper Royals right here just like two seconds ago. We're making $40 profit in this pair. And I'm trying to box it up right now. I don't know. A good tip for you guys. Always reuse the shipping boxes. Always reuse the shipping boxes because you save way more money in the long run, man. You save way more money in the long run. So definitely reuse the shipping boxes um, unless it's like completely destroyed. So um, yeah, that's what that's what I always do. Put it in. Perfect. Look at this. Beautiful. Perfect. Time to tape this up. Boom, boom. And um, yeah, you guys are right. I do need a, oh sh I do need a, um, what's that called? I do need a, um, a tape roller. Cause this makes it super inconvenient. It takes a lot of time to just box all these damn pairs up, man. Oh my God, each, I can't imagine during the story sale how many pairs we're gonna sell, man. It's gonna be crazy. Alright, so I just dropped these packages off. Now we're about to head to this meeting and let's see what this is about. But it's bricks right now. Bricks. Alright guys, so I just got home and it's currently 8.13, which means we gotta get ready for this story sale. And um, let me show you guys what I'm about to do. So I'm about to shift the whole entire table, all the chairs and everything over here and then just display all the shoes right here. So I'm gonna take the picture for Instagram. It's currently 8.13, so this is gonna take about probably two hours. Just to give you guys a quick time check, it's currently 9.05 and um, this is how much we got done. We still got probably like 100 more pairs to pack up. All right guys, so the time right now is currently 9.52. So this process took us about two hours and tomorrow we're gonna get the Instagram post up and we're gonna take a lot of pictures right now. 
Um, 200 plus pairs. So 953 right now. So it's probably gonna take us three to four hours to fold those 200 plus pairs. And also we gotta make a flyer, the story sale flyer. I'm gonna put a picture right here on the screen to show you guys how it looks like. But yeah, this is really the behind the scenes of day in the life of a sneaker reseller. It's not how. It's not really as glamorous as it seems on social media. When you guys really see the behind the scenes, there's a lot of work that plays in it, and um, you know, it's. But I mean, it's all worth it. Like when I look back when I first started, I only started like this. I'm gonna put a picture here. I was only started like that, and this is where we are now. So the motivation just lets me keep going. And also, it's about d discipline and also consistency. I haven't missed a day on posting on social media like Instagram. I haven't missed a single day of not posting on my story. I post it every single day for the past two years and that's how I got to where I am today. But um, yeah, I still have a lot of stuff I can work on and get better. But I just wanna say without you guys and the support, I wouldn't be where I am today. So just thank you guys so much for making my dream come true because this is truly a passion for me. I really enjoy doing every single second of this. Um, so. This is something that I love doing and being able to make money from it. It's just, you know, it's just an amazing feeling. So, um, you know, I think I can't thank you guys enough. And I like I've done some crazy stuff because of shoes and I met so many people because of shoes. So, you know, shoes really bring people together and it's literally like a talking point. So it's just, you know, it's just crazy. Like how I'm doing something I enjoy and also make money from it. It's just, it's just crazy to me. But um, yeah, I got to get to working, you know. I gotta get some sleep because tomorrow's about to be another crazy day. I'll catch you soon. Go to sell 80 plus pairs. Alright guys, so we got another box of GOA packages. Let's see what we got inside. Um, as you guys can see, the story sale behind me, we're still not done taking photos of all the pairs. And these are all the pairs that we photo, so this is about to take another probably two to three hours for us to finish everything. But let's just see what we got inside this package. Um, this is the stuff that we've got to do every single day. So it looks like there's a total of three pairs. So the first shoe we got is a pair of Argon Dunks, size 11. Great shoe, I love this. I think we got a really good deal on this pair. I think we pay like 140. Uh, Bark is like 180, so steal. And then we also got a pair of lottery grays. Um, not lottery grays, lottery greens. I don't like these too much, but um, you know, this pair is size 10. And I think I paid about like 140, and Mark is about like 170, so um, not bad at all. And then lastly, we got a pair of bones, much needed. If you guys know, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I sold about like I sold over a hundred plus pairs of these Easy Slides during summer, and now these go for like two twenty now. Um, with what happened to, with what happened to Adidas and Kanye, these are gonna gonna keep going up. So um, this is a great buy for sure. I paid one seventy. Market's about two twenty. Alright, so we just finally finished carrying all those pairs back in my room. This is 200 plus pairs that we got to carry up. And I told you guys it's not as glamorous as it seems on social media. You know, with all the success and that you guys see. Um, this is what it really takes behind the scenes. Like, if you want to be a sneaker reseller, you know, you got to do all this. Also, after I organized these 200 plus pairs, which is probably going to take me about... Somewhere about 45 minutes to an hour. Tomorrow, we got our first ever sneaker meetup. Sneaker cash out is about $4,000. We're about to pick up like 13 pairs, but it's all good stuff. So um, I can't wait to show you guys how I get, you know, how I get down these sneaker meetups. It's about to be a good one, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Next day, about to do some cash out. Let's go. Say less, say less. So a total of 13 pairs, right? Oh, yeah. 13 pairs, yes, sir, yes, sir. I just got this camera and shit. Everything's brand new. How's everything? How's school and stuff, bro? <laughs> no, no cap, bro. No cap. It's so stressful. Same thing with me. How much for these again? Four ten. Four ten on these. Okay. Then um, these. 
235, 245 each on these, on the cherries. Sir, appreciate you. 245, all these 245. Okay, you guys got all the old stuff. You guys been holding these for a while, right? Oh, yeah, my boy. Two, how, how much for these? Three, what? 325, I think. Yeah. More cherries. I'm surprised these are not um, doing too well. These are, yeah. I hit a lot of pairs too, and I forgot to pick it up because I was in college. Yeah. I was like in one of those meetings, so I forgot to confirm all like the FLX raffles and shit. These 175, right? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. What about these? The lotteries, the green ones. 160. White Oreos. I haven't seen these in a minute. Four hundred, please. And then the other one was like three ninety. Three ninety, yeah. Five eleven. Yeah, these are gonna be a little bit hard mover for me, but it's cool. Like the expensive stuff just takes a while to sell. You know what I mean? Cherries. So all the stuff your boys are like it's all mostly yeah, yours. Mine and someone with my other boy. Ten and a half. So you just be selling all for real? Yeah, man. That's cool. Oh for real? Yeah. White Oreos. Yeah, I'm surprised you still have a GS for brand new. That's crazy. I haven't bought a pair of these GS in so long, bro. So long. And these are pandas. What seventy? Total is 3,370. Yeah. So right here is two. It's about, I think this is 2.2 .2 right here. You should count it, yeah. All right. There's a little cash out right there. Make sure everything's good. So um, gave you 2,170 plus 1.2 on Venmo. That's good? Yeah. Alright, best of us. Please go through. Yes, I went through. Went you through. got it? Yeah. I appreciate you, my boy. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate man. you. No. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. No, for real. Alright, so the total for these 13 pairs was 3,370. Let me know if I got a steal. I'll give you guys a breakdown once I get in the house. We just got back inside. I'm gonna give you guys the full breakdown right now. All right, so first up, got a pair of Panda Dunk Lows. We paid 170, and uh, this is a size 11. Great movers for us. We've been selling these all day, every day, especially with Christmas coming up. You can't go wrong with a pair of Panda Dunks. You just can't, man. You just can't. And then we also bought a lot of these expensive stuff. Usually, I don't, you know, I stick with the cheap stuff just because I know it sells well for me. So, uh, you know, but I got some great deals. Like Oreo fours, even with the receipt too. Foot Locker receipt. So this guy's been holding this pair for like a little minute now. But um, yeah, Oreo fours, size five and a half. You know, I gotta pick it up because I paid only three seventy five and markets about like four seventy. So like great pickup for these, great profits to be made. Um, yeah, great profits to be made. And the reason why this meetup is so quick is because that's someone I know, and we've been doing business together for a little minute now. So um, you know. I just pretty much just hand them the money, I get the inventory, and I come back inside. Easy deals all day. Got another pair of Oreo 4s, um, 400 for these, size 11. So uh, market's about like 470, so I probably make like 40, 50 dollars on these. Not bad at all. And uh, But usually, like I said, I stick with the cheaper stuff just because that's so better for me. But um, yeah, just decided to pick some of these st stuff up for the story sale. This is what I mean by what I buy. This is exactly the shoes that I typically buy. Green Lauder Greens um, paid 160. Mark is about like 190. Steel. That's all I gotta say. Steel. Um, next shoe. We bought a bunch of these, by the way. I think we bought a little too much, but um, to to keep it a sack with you guys, I think I bought a little too much. But Cherry 11s. 
They've been selling here and there, not the best, but uh, I got a pretty good deal, 235 and 245 per pair, depending on the sizes. Not bad at all. I think I can move some of them and make like 20, 40 each, 20 to 40 dollars each. So this is a bunch of cherries, so I'm not gonna show you guys that again. And then we got some heat, got some heat, y'all. Got some Union Dunks. I mean, not Union Dunks, Union Force. Haven't seen these in a bit. I think this is the Tope colorway. Don't judge, no, don't like come after me if I get this colorway wrong because I never bought a pair of these. And um, I don't know the names to all the shoes, but Tope 4s, I think. You and Tope 4s, super clean, size 10 and a half. Only play, I only paid 410, so um, you know, that's a steal. And market is about like 500. And the only way I'm buying expensive stuff is unless it's a steal. If it's not, I'm passing. But um, this is this definitely is one for sure. So let's put that aside. Young force. It's crazy to think about how 13 shoes is worth three uh three thousand three hundred seventy dollars. It's crazy to think that. There's only 13 pairs, guys. And then got a pair of gray lottery dunks. Great sellers for me, honestly. Wish I can get more pairs of these for sure, because they just been selling very well. I paid 170 for these. Market's about like 230. These shot up. These used to go for like 150 to 160 for like a while, and then these just shot up to you know 200 plus, like 220 to 250. So um, yeah. Also, I got an investment group at Remy Invest, so I'm gonna pop it up right here. If you guys want to join, um, sneaker investments only. So actually, by the time this video is out, memberships are probably gonna be sold out. I don't. All right, sorry guys. I'm supposed to look right here on the camera, not right there, guys. You know, I'm so new to this, guys. Bear with me. Another pair of Oreo 4, size 10 and a half, 390. Stelio. Oh, box damage? Nah, never mind. Nah, we good. Then, another pair of cherries. Another pair of cherries. Got a pair of UNC 1s. Don't see these too much. You don't see these too much. UNC 1s. I think these are probably one of the best ones that came out recently, in my opinion. Other than the lost and founds and the taxi ones, I really like the taxi ones. Market's low right now, so um, I would buy them if I were you. But yeah, UNC ones looks good to me. Um, yeah, everything will be legit checked after this, so don't say I don't legit check my shoes. I just gotta try to make it quick for you guys. But yeah, everything looks good. But also, the more shoes you buy, the more expensive you get, and um, you just know. You kind of just know what's fake or real just by looking at it right away. So. Um, that's it, and then the last pair, we got a pair of Cherry 11s to end it off. Um, that's my cash out for today. I'll see you guys soon. Just realized this video is getting way too long, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoy my first ever official video. Um, this is going to be a day in the life of being a sneaker reseller as a full-time college student. So this is the end, and um, hope you guys enjoy more content on the way, and let's see how far this series is going to take us. Nobody ain't know me, so I